Hey everyone, my name is Yuri and we are here. This is going to be week number five, I believe, of the NCP Nimbus Division. We are up against Dark Devil 26, uh, and he has a really, really scary team, right? So he has um Weather Sweepers with Executor Hapaudon, as well as on Burden Sweepers with Halucha and Indeedy. So it's gonna be a lot to kind of deal with, but we're gonna see whatever the heck we can do here. Alright, team preview is gonna be scary, but here we go. Um yeah, like I said, it's just going to be a whole heck of a lot to kind of deal with here. Uh, we do see the Sand Core, and we, we do see both cores. Uh, we do see the Lapras, so no Weezing. No Weezing is actually pretty darn huge. No Weezing is pretty huge. No Flareon means a lot. No Morgrim. I definitely expected Morgrim for kind of um, a bit of screen support. I thought Reflect against my team would have been really, really solid if he's scared of the Copper Raja, which I know uh, a lot of people are... Respecting Copperaja more as it gets more KOs here. Um, but yeah, no more Pico is really interesting to me. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I really don't know what I want to lead off with. I mean, part of me just really... Yeah, okay. So, here's the thing. I... I really wanted to have, like, a... Life Orbed or... Or, or a Specs... Dragapult with Scald uh, to kind of hit some Mons a little bit here and there, but I was running some calcs and I can actually Oko a Hippowdon, max defense Hippowdon, um, from full with Hydro Pump. So if we see a Hippowdon lead, then I might just risk a Hydro Pump in order to get up a KO here, but does lead off with um, this thing instead. Now it definitely can... This is a very interesting... Maybe expecting me to lead off... Oh, he probably thought I was going to lead off with the Rhydon here. Um, I have to admit, I did not run a lot of calcs with this thing in mind. So let me see... What is this thing called? Lapras. Uh, I ran one calc with Copperaja, but that was more or less it here. I might want to just U-turn out into, into Sylveon here. That might be the play that I want to take, but I am really just curious as to what kind of damage I'm, I should expect to kind of do here. Um, yeah, even Specs Draco is not doing a whole heck of a lot. Shadow Ball can be a 2 KO with some, some, with some sort of chip, but regardless, I think Sylveon makes the most amount of sense to me right now, especially with Sylveon just being Specs and probably able to deal a lot of damage here. Um... Yeah, I also do have dual specs here. I don't have a Scarfer, which was a huge decision to make as, as well for me because uh, Spark Sh Sp Scarf Dragapult um, can actually outspeed max speed um, max speed Sand Rush Excadrill. So here we do see here we do see um, Sylveon. Well, no, first of all, Dragapult did about, I, I would call that 20%, which is right around in line with Noble Lapras. Could that be a thing? But Sylveon, Hyper Voice, should do a lot of damage here. And I feel like I just go for it here. I did pack Psy Shock just for the um, Weezing, but again, no Weezing, uh, pretty wild to me. Lapras out of the way would mean a, a really decent amount for... Um, for things like my, um, my Arcanine. So my Arcanine is, I, I think is a really interesting set as well. So Arcanine can pretty much handle the Excadrill if it has to, 1v1. But this is interesting. I feel like he's kind of forced into bringing in the Excadrill. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say Excadrill. I, I was thinking, I, I wanted to walk that back a little bit and say he, he could bring the Indeedee as well, but um, this is interesting to me. So, again, my Arcanine is kind of built to kind of handle this thing because after because it's pretty much max defense with Shaka, and it's pretty much meant to... He knows that I'm Specs too, which is really not ideal. Uh, this thing could help a lot with Appleton. He's used almost no time so far. Um, part of me just wants to go into it right now. But I really don't want to take an Iron Head. I could just let this thing go down. I really don't want to, though. This is a tough one. I'm going to... 
Yeah, I guess I, I guess I can let this thing go down. I I'm confident enough in my Kaparaja that I could manage a that I could potentially manage a uh a, a an Appleton if I have to here. But I could also go into this thing. This thing could be scarfed, but it seems unlikely. I could definitely go into this thing, and I could threaten Hydro Pump. But I think forcing a switch here would be ideal. So my thinking here, I don't know. I also really don't want to mess with with um with HP on this thing because I really do need all every bit of HP that I need in order to with Shaka take a neutral Earthquake after rocks. And I think I think if it's intimidated, then I can take it after two rounds of rocks. But I feel like Toxic would be an ideal play because I could definitely see the Hapowdon or the Appleton wanting to come in here. Um, and Appleton is a pretty decently sized issue for me here. Uh, if the Appleton comes in, it does go into the Hapowdon. Very interesting, very interesting. So this is reasonably free rocks for him, which I can't really stop anymore, which uh, is unfortunate. I really did want to pack, bring the Eldegoss, but again, I thought this, this um, particular Arcanine set would be more helpful just in the just in the longer run especially if this extra drill becomes a huge problem so it was difficult for me to figure out how i wanted to play this regardless um i think what this lets me do i mean it definitely lets me bring in it definitely lets me bring in uh my lodic but the problem with my lodic is that i don't want to get toxic again on a switch and then have its longevity pretty much neutered because of this so i think i think he's gonna set want to set up rock, he's either gonna, he's either gonna want to set up rocks or toxic i think toxic would be a decently better play although yeah rocks is definitely respectable here so what this means ultimately is that i can try to make that same turn one play that i was talking about earlier about um about specs hydro pump and i don't really think he has anything that i would want to switch in other than Appleton, maybe. But I just feel like it's the most worth it here. We do land the Hydro Pump. We get it off and land it. And this thing should just get O-Code. And what, what this also kind of does is it kind of disincentivizes the the extra draw from one from wanting to come in. Because unless it is Bandit or Life Orb, I pr I'm pretty positive we take a hit. Um... I did run some band calcs, and again, just having this out of the way and have and stopping sand from later on in the match helps out a huge, huge amount. So I am going to look at. Yeah, I guess I'd have to check out uh, what banded calcs are looking like because it definitely didn't reveal. It definitely didn't reveal. Uh anything earlier but I'm very very scared of this thing I really don't want to get my drag hold up this early though that feels like a mistake but it looks like I mean it looks like we take an iron head and it has to be and it has to be banded in order to to KO with with that with earthquake it looks like but it very well could be banded I'm not discounting that at all Oof, we barely take it can we land another hydro pump we land it. That is huge for Dragapult. And we get a double down uh, situation here, which frees up my Milotic a whole heck of a ton to be able to um, potentially be able to deal with um, to be able to deal with the Halucha, which is really, really huge for me here. And my Arcanine as well. My Arcanine is freed up a huge amount, um, but I have no idea what, what I want to go into at all. And part of me thinks... Yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel like this is as good a play as any right now, right? Yeah, I think I think this makes sense to me. So I'm guessing I'm gonna guess that it was a soft sand Exu drill. That'd be my guess. Maybe extra belt. Um, maybe King's Rock. I don't know. Um, I don't think it's shown any item, which is interesting to me. But yeah, that hydro pump came in huge. He definitely expected to KO me. Which leads me to believe that it's soft sand. That's my operating assumption. Soft sand. 
Yeah, soft sand comes close. Goes right out into the Halucha, which is really interesting. I think he expected me to want to bring in the Caparajo because um, this play doesn't make the most sense otherwise. But what I think I can do... I think the play is definitely to go into Arcanine here. I think it gives me the most options. And again, Arcanine is definitely not going to be the most useful in this matchup overall. So I think what this allows me to... This gives me the most options, I think. Because if he just straight up KOs me... Then it gives me the Milotic play, and if he tries to set up a sub, then I can roar, um, because he's going to almost definitely want to um, go for a Swords Dance once he's behind a sub in order to kind of shore up some Calx behind, especially after an Intimidate. So, um, there's a lot here that I can try to see what I can do. Does go for the Close Combat. Obviously, another one be, would be pretty bad, but... Um, but it looks like I take two, which is kind of what I need out of this uh, situation here. And I think I really can't let him sub. I think the I wouldn't be surprised at all. Man, I've used so much time. I've used a disgusting amount of time. But sub makes as much sense as anything else. But he just does switch out here, out into the Appleton. Uh, so now I've, I've revealed Roar, which is not ideal. But um, yeah, my biggest concern right now is not losing to time. Um, it does bring this thing out as well, which is really interesting to me. Um, but now I'm not dealing the best against the Halucha, but if this Sandstorm ends, which it doesn't, which stinks, I could, I can get a, 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 I thought for a second it was going to be Psychic Seed, I could get a, a Morning Sun off, but I can't quite yet, I don't think it's going to be the biggest deal, because I think my play is always just going to be to, to get some Toxic Damage going. Whether he wants to use this as as an opportunity to get in Halucha, it's going to help me out again with the with the general matchup against. Um, yeah, it just takes me out. That's fine. It definitely helps me out with the general matchup against um, against Halucha with my Lodic is what I was trying to say after all this time. Okay, I think what I can do. I think Copperanja starts threatening KOs here. Um, he could have something really crazy, but I think this is moderately safe here. Uh, yeah, just clicking Heavy Slam it feels like the play here. He has to at least respect Choice Band, but it looks like. It doesn't even take choice band. Even this um, Sheer Force set should just about do it, unless he's max HP, which he very well could be. But he did seem to have a little bit of speed uh, to outspeed my Arcanine. My Arcanine was no speed, so he, it could have just been a speed tie. But it looks like I, I pick up a KO here, even on um, max HP. So, so it had to be moderately defensive as well. But this could honestly just be a KO because the Appleton is 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 no longer really a switch in. Um, I want this dang sand to end. Um, Let's go for a sub. Okay. Okay. So might just be testing things out. I don't know. Like, I'm very... I, I feel very, very free to just... Um, he's also giving up turns of Psychic Terrain. I don't know if he's... He, maybe expecting me to... Maybe expecting me to... Set up rocks? I'm not too, too sure. Um... If anything, this probably shores up KO, the shores up the calcs in case, um, in case it is max defensive or, or something to that effect. But um, I'm not 1,000% sure what sub gained him in that situation, other than a turn to scout, which is totally fine. But I think if he does try to take this opportunity to go into Appleton, I can catch him off guard with the heavy slam into the Appleton and then um, KO it next turn with play rough. So that seem that feels like it's my line here. Um. Other than that, I'm not a thousand percent sure he, but I don't think he can let this thing go down yet. I think his only switch in would be Appleton or to let this indeed go down, which would be um, problematic because I'm sure before he let he, w he would want to let this thing go down, he he would want more damage on my Milotic, or at the very least um, to let Appleton try to wall my Milotic, and I think that's gonna want to be his situation here. But it is kind of a this is kind of the same kind of dilemma that I've been putting people in with my Caparaja all season long, because 
Um, Cop Barrage has enough HP to take a hit. It's going to go for Calm Mind. I don't... I, I don't know. I feel like Mystical Fire damage would have been the better play here, but I don't know. I don't know. If anything... If anything, uh, he's, he's going to want to go into Halucha, right? And if anything, it would free up my... My... He has to go into Halucha because Appleton doesn't do enough here. And he also has to KO me. He also has to KO me. So, I think... I can... Go into this. And... If my Melodic... So, okay, I... Um... I have to be concerned about a handful of things, but we will see. I think he has to KO me, though. Yeah, because he, he won't take a hit otherwise. And now he can potentially try, um, try to make something happen, but I don't feel the most concerned here. Uh, except I can't touch this thing. I... I can attempt to toxic this thing. He, he he has to deal damage to me, and if he does, he does withdraw. If he does, um, if he does go into, I must click roar too. I was gonna say if he does try to set up a sub on me, then, then um, I can roar him out on on his swords dance, and if he try, and he just tries to hit me, then I can toxic uh attempt to stall him here. But this thing feels important. Although it might not be, right? I think I can just freely... I mean, I can set up rocks for some type of chip damage, right? Um, it does feel important to, to get, like, one... To get one last, um... Bit of chip down onto... Let's go for Leech Heat, okay. That's mildly problematic. I was probably for my Copperaja, too. Cause, especially because Copperaja has uh, so much HP. But... What I think I can do... I, I mean, I'll... Hmm. What I think I can do... I can probably spam Roar until one of these two Mons takes me out. Uh, because I, I don't want this ride on in, it, in anymore, and... He can mildly freely set up on me. I should have thought about the uh, Halucha interaction more in-depth than just... Oh yeah, if the Haluch is there, I roar it out because I because it'll want to set up a sub on me. But just letting this thing go down is probably optimal. Uh, he didn't gain much out of this interaction other than maybe a, a turn or two of of leechy damage, but it's being counteracted by the poison, which actually looks like a play rough range. I'm almost positive, positive. and that's assuming max defensive too. Appleton, if it is max defensive. Then, that's definitely flavor of range. Uh, I am adamant sheer force um, expert belt. I really thought about. I really thought about adamant sheer force life orb, but it was an issue because I I could definitely see a situation where, where I would want to power whip into the hippowdon in, in case I needed that damage, and if that was ever the case, then. I would be in a lot of trouble because, uh, there's a play rough. Uh, because I've, Copper Ange is a mon that really does need every bit of HP, and I doubt that we take a hit here, but I'd be interested to see. Uh, if this is a Halucha that, 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 uh, relies on Swords Dance, then maybe, but I doubt it. Yeah, I don't think we ever take a close combat. Again, if it's a less offensive one, then it's possible, but... Not the most likely. And I just click I just click Heavy Slam here. Play Rough does a little bit more damage, but it can miss. He could honestly just um oh I also have Zen Headbutt as well. Which can also miss, so that's not ideal either. But Heavy Slam should do everything that I needed to do here. Close combat's gonna come in. And it's gonna at least lower his defenses. I think close combat's the only move he would really have to hit me with here. Drain punch, okay. That makes a ton of sense. But do we take a hit? No, we don't. Okay. That, that that definitely does stink. But 
It means he doesn't lower his defenses, but it also means that my Lota can come in and can spam Skull. So I do have a little bit of, of special attack investment, just a very mild amount, only because... I, I believe he's revealed close combat too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, only because um, I was looking at Calx, if, he's behind, if he tries to set up a sub, I wanted to always be able to KO plus one sub on a max HP Halucha, if that was ever a thing. Uh, I think Toxic would help me out, but I think Recover is just going to be ideal here, just to get my Flame Warp going a little bit. And goes for a Swords Dance. Okay, I do have Haze here. So, I'm... So, yeah, he... He definitely knew that I was going for something, but I could definitely lose this Halucha if I don't make the right plays here. Um... I thought he was... Yeah, I thought he was going to try to hit me, and then I would need the... I would need the flame orb before I can actually do anything here. I could definitely lose to this Halucha if I don't play this, like, pretty much perfectly. But I think he has to hit me here. I can... I can haze off damage. Has he revealed close combat? I'm pretty positive this thing has revealed close combat, so already. Uh, and if it has... Max attack adamant at plus two should do around half-ish? A, a little bit over half? Um, and then I can haze that off. Goes for acrobatics. That is... Oof, that's very, very scary, but we do get the haze off. And this thing could honestly just Swords Dance every... Like, pretty much every other turn. This thing could pretty much Swords Dance every other turn, which sucks. I need to... Okay, I need to figure this out. I think he's gonna know that I can haze away his boost, so he might... go for another Acrobatics, and that's gonna be... Okay, okay. Thankfully, that's not the game. Thankfully, that's not the game. Not yet. I got scared for a second. But... What this should allow me to do... I have to recover. I have to recover. If I, if, yeah, if I had just a little bit more HP, then I would feel comfortable toxicing, and then I can really start to spam, uh, to, to, to stall this thing. But I'm right at the, I'm right at the brink here where I really have to recover on this turn, which does legitimately suck. But at least I'm taking these hits. At, that seems to be a saving grace here. And I'm gonna try to really pay attention to how much damage he's doing. I just have to stabilize a little bit. But I think I can pull this out. 188 down to 80. 188 down to 80. That's bad. That's really bad. Okay. How do I do this? How do I do this? How much PP does Acrobatics have? Um, I'm trying to think. I have to play this perfectly. When he, and I might have already messed this up, to be honest. So he's doing 108 points of damage. Which means non-boosted should be doing around 50-ish. What does that mean? Let's go for another Swords Dance. Um, and he will hit me again, but I can take that in Haze. Although, yeah. Man, if he Swords Dance again, then I'm in a lot of trouble. Actually, aren't I, don't I already lose? I think I have to Scald Burn. I have to get a Scald Burn just to make this happen. Oh man, how do I play this? I think I just... Mm. This time I'm going down from 156 down to 57. Okay, so slightly less. So, these are rolls, and I can kind of get on top of these rolls a little bit. Now, I'd be super curious if he, if he thinks... Mm. I think I just lose this. Goes for another acrobatics, and I think I don't... Mm. 
Mm, I <laughs> what I would have had to do was was to, was rely on a scald burn. I, if if I just had pumped a, a, a couple scalds in, into this thing, then that then I would have had to burn and then I win. Th then go close combat, and that's gonna be it. Oof, that was a tough one. That was a really tough way to lose. I, mm. <sighs> that was a tough way to lose. I think. I think I had a lot of what I needed, but <sighs> yeah, I'm just kind of speechless. I Halucha was really, really strong. It had to have been max attack adamant, and even then, um, just the kind of rolls it was getting was bananas, and <sighs> it's just tough. It's just tough. I really thought the way out of that would be to kind of play it safer and uh, try to keep my Milotic as healthy as possible in order to kind of deal with it. But I think I had to play riskier and just go for some kind of a skull burn somewhere. Otherwise, uh, yeah, my Melodic couldn't 1v1. I thought it could, but uh, it just couldn't, just didn't have enough to, to 1v1 it. Especially because I was kind of playing a, a turn behind because of that Swords Dance. And it was just not something. Mm, it was tough. It was tough. Regardless, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back really, really soon with more weeks to the NCP, more weeks to the AP Academy, as well as uh, other things coming really, really soon. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Going to be once again out.